watch you guys today we're taking a look at how you can stop getting scammed on your phone and we're going to be taking a look at scam uh, text messages that these scammers are sending to you and some of the things to look out for and how you can check to see whether they're legit or scammed uh, messages from scammers so let's take a look here i've got a phone here and what we're going to do is take a look at some messages on here and i think it's important that we bring this to people's attention you can see this one says your driver adam tried to deliver your parcel on the 18th of the 8th however no one was home to reschedule please visit this link never click on these links as you can see it is an actual uh, parcel delivering company name but you can see the dashes in between the url companies would never use something like this you can head over to virus total on your phone never click on the link itself just go to virus total and this is now owned by Microsoft. Go to the URL tab here, click on URL. Now simply type in the URL, just like so, and push search. And it will come back with some search results. And as you can see, this is a phishing site. It's malicious, and it's basically trying to trick me or con me out of my hard-earned cash. And this is where you've got to be careful. Now, this is a relatively new uh you know url that's been sent to me uh, so you have to be very careful uh, because some of these ones might not get detected yet and some of the antivirus companies obviously aren't doing enough work to protect you so you have to be very very careful some of these just say it's clean and it's not clean it is actually a malicious url and this is where you have to be careful so i can see already that this is is got some sort of phishing scam here and they're trying to make me click on it and put in my details probably or call a number so they can do their confidence tricks to work on me these people are very comfortable and confident on the phone and they will start overwhelming you and make you feel a little bit more comfortable when you're talking to them but really at the other end they're just trying to scam you and you can see here this is a nasty scam so be very very careful now these come in all shapes and sizes and they all have different messages. Here's one from Apple Pay. Has been temporarily suspended. Please visit this link. Now look at all the dashes in there. And there's no way that a company of Apple's standard would use Apple dash wallet dash ID and a number and dot com. They just wouldn't use it to verify your details. They're trying to get your details out of you. And this is where you've got to be careful. It's coming from this uh, mobile number here. And again, you can block that number. Here's another one from Simon attempting to deliver my parcel today, but no one was home. Can you reschedule a new delivery date via this link? Now, these scammers are hoping that you're going to click on that link and give them your details. And what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting scammed. So you can go over to Virus Total here, do a simple search. And as you can see, it's a phishing site. They're going to fish the information out of you and start to work on you and con you out of your hard-earned cash. And this is the problem with these particular sites. Many people receive parcels every day. And again, it's so easy to wake up in the morning, open your phone and say, oh, I missed the parcel or I'm waiting for a parcel. And then you get the banking ones, which are even more alarming. This one's from Santander, as you can see here. They want me to click on this link and basically go there and give them my uh, you know details and this is for a security transfer attempt so i definitely wouldn't click on this at all your bank would never contact you in this manner they would never text you like this they would write to you if there was something serious and ask you to come down to the branch always go to the uh, santander website and contact them that way ring them and call them from there never call these numbers because you never know who's on the other side now, if I do bank with Santander, I would go to Santander directly. I would go to their website and log in there and talk to them there or use one of their chat amplets on there. This is another one from Simon. This time it's a different post office dash gb.com. So the URL has changed and that's probably because the other URL has been killed off because it's a phishing site. Here's another one from the post office. As you can see here, this one is my po dash redeliver.com i mean who is going to have a url like that but some people are gullible and they will click on it and they will give them their details all of the bold uh, text there doesn't look anything like the post office but again 
it's very easy to fall foul to this sort of stuff if you're not familiar with these particular types of scams. And these are just the tip of the iceberg. They are sending these out to loads of different people. Once you join certain people, they will give out your information. This one's from the Bank of Scotland. Well, I mean, Santander didn't work, so they might as well try another bank. And this is what they keep doing. They'll try other banks until you respond to it. So this is a one-time passcode for a payment from Argos. Didn't request this, call us on this number. Never call them because that's what they want to do. They will convince you on the phone that it's legit and end up you'll end up paying money for something that you're not going to ever receive and they'll scam you. And these scumbags know no boundaries. As you can see here, this is for a test kit. They will go down that route as well. They have no shame and they will basically try to con you. Here's another one, local delivery fee dot X, Y, Z. And this is supposed to be from DPD. Now, again, I can't stress enough. These people will never text message you like this and neither will uh, your bank. They will never email you either. Here's another one here. Your driver, Gary, won't be back today. To reorder your parcel, please visit this. This is FDX. And this one is for FedEx. So there we go. It's just another fdx-3941.co.uk. It's not really a FedEx URL. You're better off to go to FedEx and put your details in. So what does it look like if you type it out on the website? If you go to a website and you type it out, sometimes you'll get this message where it says this site has been reported as unsafe. Under the more information, scam sites that contain misleading content will often trick people into trusting them by pretending to be from sites from well-known companies. If you visit a scam site and do what they suggest, you might be uh, put in your sensitive information like passwords, credit card numbers, and other contact info or other financial data at risk. Now, this should be open permanently. This shouldn't be more information. This should be explaining to you that this is a dodgy site. Continue to an unsafe site uh, should be a bigger uh, link back. And you can see here, these URLs get killed off very, very quickly. These are all the ones from these text messages here. And again, they don't last very long, but they can be live for some time. And you have to be very, very careful. So do not click on them. Always go to the uh, company website, whether it will be a banking company website or contact your company by phone and talk to them directly from the number on the actual official website or go down to the bank and talk to your uh, representative down there. So to identify fake scam text messages, a text message about your bank account or payment information will be displayed, a promise to help pay off your loans or debts that you have, also services that are too good to be true will be offered, an offer of free money can be also uh, be a text scam, Missed parcels that you need to rearrange a delivery. These are normally another scam. Offers for free credit cards and also no or low interest rates. Fake online banking or direct deposit information. Messages about fake money transactions. And also we have you have won a prize or coupons that are too good to be true or free gifts. These are the ones you need to be careful of. And there's many more out there that are being sent to people on a random daily basis. So any phone calls from random people or any text messages you're receiving, just block them and go to the bank and talk to them there. If you've given any sort of personal information like passwords or account numbers or anything like that, go to your bank immediately and get them to freeze that account because what will happen is you will end up losing all of your money. So be very, very careful what information you give to people on the phone or anywhere else. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I thought I'd just give you this sort of information because I see so much uh, videos online about having fun with these people and also calling them. But there's no real information about how to protect yourself. And this is the real uh, concern for me. There's far too much comedy going on with people calling these scammers, whereas very little uh, videos about how to protect yourself and how to be very careful because there is people that fall for this crap every day. And this is where uh, the world is going. There's not enough education out there teaching people to protect themselves. And it's all about how we can make money on YouTube by showing fake scam calls 
Yes, you might be saving one person from being scammed, but really you need to educate people. And the more people that make, uh, you know, content that is educating people, showing people that these are fake and these are dodgy and these are what you need to look out for, the quicker we can get the word out there and protect people from these uh, people that are out there trying to come up with new scams every single day. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend and I'll sure catch you in the next video. Bye for now.